What's up, Samurai? We are back as Mario. And today we are going to be tackling the 45k series with the Fey Trickster, which is kind of a uh, bit of an underwhelming character. I think that a lot of people don't really gravitate towards the Fey Trickster, but believe it or not, this class is better than you might think. So, what we're going to be doing with today's showcase is primarily focusing on Five minutes in Sundered Uplands U11, which is the uh, arguably the most difficult enemies in the entire game because they have a natural resistance to us and so on and so forth. And then we're going to end up hopping in the delves and fighting a boss. So in a way, it kind of gives a good example of where this character ends up thriving. And I'll kind of leave my own input, uh, letting you all know, can you main the character for this category or this category? Now, I'm not going to be using the hidden ring effect on my crystal ring, uh, but the best ability objectively would either be mobilized which makes it so that your ultimate uh will form into one large enchanted staff that has a uh, uh it follows around the player instead of using your ult and then it's staying static and then you just leave and then that's it uh the other one is trick trick boom which is when taking damage the fate trickster has a chance to spawn a glitter bomb at its location i don't really know if the glitter bomb has an internal cooldown or how that one operates. I Just generally speaking, I'm assuming it's not very good comparatively to using your ultimate. But anyways, I mean, I try my best not to get tagged too many times just because of our nice passive Ego Blast. Uh, thankfully, you know, our I think our class gem changes that a little bit now, right? Um, yeah, makes it so that we... Ego Blast now requires an additional hit of damage, which as far as I know, it requires four hits now instead. Whoops, bombs aren't on my hotbar. Sorry about that. So, talking about the Fate Trickster. Fate Trickster always had a pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, it looks like I actually don't have the right stats. Yeah, I should have a little bit more attack speed, but unfortunately, I don't think that my staff has the attack speed. Because I got attack speed here. No, I got crit damage. Crit damage, crit damage, energy regen. Oh, okay. Uh, one sec. Yeah, unfortunately, guys and gals, I don't think that I have um, a C4 face and hat set up for this specific scenario. I have these with crit damage, but I think I was waiting for the second stat reroll event because otherwise I, I got a little bit distracted and I didn't realize that I didn't have an attack speed set for magic classes. So unfortunately, all we've got is the staff right now, which you see has stability, which means that I literally just rerolled this to second stat as well. Anyways, just keep in mind that if we had a tax speed, it would obviously make all the difference in the world for this character. Uh, I'm sorry about that, though. I just I don't have another set of gear. So anyways, if we just look at our base attack, you can see as soon as Ego Blast triggered, that was that weird darkness effect that we had go on our character. Suddenly we were doing a heap ton more damage. Uh, the other thing, too, is if I throw down my glitter bombs, not only is it going to stun all the enemies, but... Um, I also need to throw down my uh, home guy, which doesn't seem to aggro anything. I don't know why. It kind of is, but it kind of isn't. I don't know. The thing is, I'm not going to be playing this character super optimally because I haven't main Fey Trickster in probably many, many years, if ever. Uh, I remember grinding the character, but I don't remember like playing it too much. But you'll see that our damage, we can do 17 mil per shot. Um, I mean, I have to wait until our Eagle Blast triggers so that I can see, can we trigger more damage than that? Yeah, 24 mil on just a normal base enemy to 26 mil, which is pretty significant for, um, you know, for side damage just with our uh, basic ability. So anyways, as far as the Fate Trickster's play style is concerned, um, because of the Eagle Blast, it does mean that we do suffer a lot in terms of farming. Um, Fate Trickster was never really that great at speed farming, or just farming in general, let's say, right? Speed farming, ironically, the class is actually pretty good, uh, because when we're teleporting, we will actually be able to cover quite a bit of distance. Now, the thing is that with how Trove works, when you're up in the air, you don't regenerate energy. You only regenerate it when you're on the ground. So if we start spamming our teleport, you can see that we can teleport pretty often, that's why I actually had the energy regen uh, staff on this character, just because it would give us that extra bit of oomph to uh, be a speed farmy character, right? But other than that, if I'm getting up close and personal, you can see that we can handle enemies just fine. 
Uh, Fate Trickster has always been really, really powerful with single target damage, I would say. And is one of those characters that you don't really see people use too much only because it's not very popular. I don't know if it's just everybody, but for me, I just don't really think that a fairy class is like particularly cool. I don't know, it just doesn't really, doesn't really, uh, doesn't really work with me. But other than that, I mean, you can see when we're teleporting around and when we use our ult, we've got heaps and heaps of damage going out. Well, it's not really going out on the right enemies just because these enemies are so freaking tanky. It doesn't even matter. I I'm trying my best to keep the Ego Blast off, but unfortunately, Trove doesn't really have uh, AI. And so even though my baby is supposed to be going out and taunting them, it's not doing that. <laughs> Just because that's just Trove, it just doesn't do that. Oh, I should also be using the Solarian subclass ability just because that is going to give us uh, give us much needed or, uh, extra damage. So if I use my ult, that was triggering like maybe 20 mil per attack. Again, it would probably end up being significantly more with the hidden ring effect. But anyways, as far as speed farming is concerned, you can actually end up using this, uh, the Fae Trickster. You just got to be playing a little bit better than me and not taking as much damage from everything. But it does mean that you have to be very, very active when you are playing this class, which to me, as you've seen, the classes that I gravitate towards are the classes that are particularly lazy. And it also just doesn't help with the fact that the AI in this game is garbage. And so they barely ever end up actually targeting our little baby here. Like sometimes they do, but most of the time they don't. Anyways, that's our five minutes. So I don't have a deeper delve than this, and I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's just like, with these types of videos being as they are, uh, it means that I basically have to set things up for longevity because I have to be able to cover every single class in the game. And so I can't, uh, I you know, it just doesn't make sense to me to constantly craft deeper delve portals uh, you, for the sake of these videos, just because I know that that would be more ideal, but I, I'm just saying, pardon me, okay? So anyways, as far as delves are concerned, so long as we're not dealing with lots of ranged enemies, you know, Faye is going to end up being fine. Again, it's just about like avoiding taking damage. That's going to make the biggest difference and actually using my Fey bombs and stuff like that. But otherwise we've got the damage. The problem is that the Fey being as good as it is at single target. Where is this last enemy? Uh, it means that we're going to really, really suffer with uh, multiple enemies, which kind of sucks. Where? Oh, there you are, you idiot. Which kind of, you know, doesn't really help that much in delves when you are arguably going to be fighting lots and lots of enemies. So where the Fae Trickster most of all does shine quite a bit is when you get everything all set up and the stars align and you're ready for a boss. You can, again, still speed farm because of the teleport, but it's not going to be super ideal when compared to a lot of the other classes. Like to me, Fate Trickster just, it doesn't do any specific category particularly well enough for me to bother playing on it. I'm not necessarily saying that I wouldn't recommend it because as always, I would say that you should play the class that you enjoy. And if you enjoy the Fae Tracer, then you should main it, no question, because you should always end up going towards the class that you think is cool, regardless of my own opinion of them. And that's why I try my best to have these videos as objective as possible in letting you know, well, can you main it? In which case, yeah, you can main the Fae Trickster. But again, there's going to be other characters that'll just outperform, but you can main it. So anyways, let's try and set this up for the boss itself. Um, I should actually be using Chromatic, I think. So we're gonna do this, teleport, use our ult, use the flask and spam bombs like a crazy person as well. Cause those are doing 100 mil damage actually, as we can see. So is uh, all of our Everything is actually damaging this guy like crazy. We got pretty good damage numbers as you saw up there with the health, boss health bar. It's just, I don't know, I guess that boss was really tanky. Did it generate with a lot of health or something? Some enemies have reduced darkness, takes additional damage from players. No, it didn't have any weaknesses. Okay, so the Fate Trickster just underperformed. Honestly, it could just be, again, I'm suffering from not having high enough attack speed. 
we should actually have a little bit more because we should have it on all of our gear. But I also don't have a good ring. <laughs> I'm actually using a barred ring because I don't have a good ring. So obviously it would end up making quite a big difference if we ended up having that extra damage. Um, again, in closing, can you end up maining the Fate Trickster? Yes, you can most definitely. Where is the class going to shine out of all the three different categories, which is speed farming, delves, and bosses? Bosses, most definitely. It can do really good travel time from dungeon to dungeon. So speed farming is a possibility, especially if you, you know, if your dungeons are no further than this to over there, then sure, we can end up like getting over there with all of our energy. It does make a difference and it is nice. But as far as handling large groups of enemies, that's why I wouldn't recommend it for either delves or just, you know, dungeons in general, right? It's, it's really going to suffer in that regard. The Glitter Bomb is very nice, and your ultimate is also going to end up compensating. But again, there are other classes that will just be so much better at these specific categories. But can you main Faye? Yes, you most definitely can. Thanks for watching. Smash like, sub for more. Buy the merch you want to support the channel. Dino, and stay epic, everybody.